Hey guys, Sam again. Just wanted today to adjust my wheelchair for tippiness. Now it's something I've been changing and experimenting with recently. I didn't realise quite how stable I had the chair set up, so it was quite a lot of hard work to lift the casters up. Um, and having set in a couple of new chairs recently, I realised that actually it might be beneficial for me to start moving towards more of an active chair and make my life a little bit easier with uh, moving around. So today, for the second time now in the last couple of weeks, I'm going to move the axle forward, which means it's going to make the chair a lot more tippy, um, a bit more difficult to control in some situations, i.e. it's going to want to try and tip over backwards more, but I have got used to it. I've moved the axle forward quite a lot recently. I've now got used to that. I feel like I could go a little bit more. So just thought I'd do a video on this for anyone that might be interested in adjusting the tippiness of their wheelchair. Um, just before I do it, tippiness is how easily the chair is going to pick up and tip backwards. Now, to change it, it's just a case of sliding the axle up and down the frame on this wheelchair. It's quite easy. There's only a couple of bolts to do um, to allow the axle to slide up and down what is a, a rigid frame. It's not reliant on the axle being there, like some wheelchairs might be. It might go out of twist if you move the axle. Um, also remembering whatever I do with the axle, I need to make sure it's square and true to the frame and I also have to adjust the brakes to account for the fact that the wheels have moved forwards or backwards, whichever way I end up doing it. So, without further ado, I'll go about stripping the chair. Hopefully you can see there, the axle is basically mounted on these two stalks or stems so I can move the axle up and down I've got quite a bit of adjustment in this wheelchair and all I have to do to adjust where the axle sits or the tippiness of the chair is to undo two allen key bolts here and the same other side uh, loosen it enough to allow the whole thing to slide up and down and then make sure that the measurement from the end of the frame on this side and this side is exactly the same to the axle brackets before I do it back up so I've moved it approximately it was around about here the end of my thumb where I started off and the chair was very very stable um, and as I say it wasn't until I sat in some new chairs I realised that actually I'm making life hard for myself certainly with back wheel balance and things um, I thought it was all about having a nice stable chair really this is my first and only chair um, but actually I've sort of been a bit enlightened to having something a little bit more tippy it has made life easier it's much easier to throw up into back wheel balance and just control really um, just the downside is you just have to be a little bit more careful that you don't tip over backwards and certainly when I hang my backpack on the back um, which normally has all my supplies in it and drink and things but I don't um, don't overbalance the chair because that makes it more tippy of course it's putting more weight behind the axle so all I'm doing is adjusting the axle forward I'm going to go about a centimetre forward so it's not a big adjustment but it should be noticeable um, it's about three centimetres I've moved so far um, so another centimetre and hopefully I'll get used to that in no time so I'll go about now just Get the chair into a position where I can easily reach all the bolts. Get the right Allen key out. Um, these aren't the best Allen keys. I do wish I had the ones that had like a, I've got a handle on the end, which are much easier to use. But perhaps that'll be something I'll go and purchase in the near future. And actually, if I remember from last time, this is quite a pig, so I might skip this part of the video. We'll see how difficult this is and how much time it takes. Okay, so now I've got this adjusted and loosened, sorry, I can now slide the axle up and down. I've got a little tiny mark from before on here so I can see where I was and I can go about a centimetre in difference and then I'm going to tighten up and make sure that this isn't distance again from the end of the blue frame here to the start of this is exactly the same. Now it's a bit of a crude technique but I actually just measured last time just using the Allen key. Um, I'll show you how I did that. So that there is about a centimetre. I'm going to just gently tighten this up. What I'll do is I'll adjust this side to where I want it and I'll just tweak the other side to get it to line up with this. So I've just nip them up a little bit and 
if we use the allen key there as a measurement just going to butt it up against this see where my thumbnail sits line that up with the end of the frame and then i'll take that over this side and do exactly the same so that needs to come forward to about there double check that feels right and i'm just going to nip the bolts up now I'll just do another quick check in a second, make sure that's right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so now I'll finally tighten these bolts back up. Okay, so that is now nice and tight. <clears throat> I've double checked the distance again between the end of the frame and there. And as I say, I've moved the axle towards the front of the chair by about a centimeter. Um, so now I'm looking at about a four centimeter difference. In fact, it's about the width of the clamp between where I'd started out a couple of weeks back and where I am now. So it's gonna feel slightly different, but it shouldn't take too much getting used to. And now the next job is to adjust the brakes to get them in the right place, because now you see, if I stick the brake on, or try to stick the brake on, I can't actually use it at all. So, first thing I'm going to do is undo the brake. I'll take the wheel off so you can see what I'm doing. Again, the brake is just clamps on, it's just a clamp here, same Allen key, and I just undo the clamp. And I know that I'm going to have to move this again that way by about a centimetre. So I'm going to start out, let's get it a bit looser, there we go. I'm going to move it forwards a little bit and I'm just going to nip the clamps up so that I can still adjust the lever if I need to. Which I know I will need to. Just enough there, I can wiggle that forwards and backwards but it's going to hold its position. Put the wheel back on. And I'm going to try and lock in the brake. Now that still needs to go this way a little bit, so I'm going to wiggle it forward. That's getting there. A little bit more. Once you've done this a couple of times, you can get a feel for it. You can get an idea of how well that brake is going to go on and off. It's just a tiny bit tight. Yeah, I'd say that's about right now. Put it on with my thumb, take it off, that's fine. And first up, loosen this off. Little bracket holding the brakes. Okay. And try and set these evenly so that they're both the same on either side. Bit of OCD on me, I guess. We go brackets in the right place just going to nip it up a little bit i can still move it the brackets generally going to hold and i can just slide this forward as i want to see fit so if i use the other side as a bit of a guide i know i need to come forward to about there let's give that a go that's quite straight okay wheel on Yeah, pretty much straight up, that's fine. So, just make sure the bracket and the angle is good still. Make sure it's looking straight. Yeah. Now nip the bolts up. Double check, yeah. That's good. Okay. And I'm ready to put the chair back together and give it a go. Let's see how it feels. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see me from there, but straight away, that's nice and tippy. In fact, if I just lean back enough, 
I might actually, yeah, I can just about get the front wheels off the ground. So it's not as bad as it could be, but it's definitely that one centimeter difference has made quite a noticeable difference in how the tip of the chair is. So yeah, we'll get used to this, I think. See how that feels. And um, yeah, if you've got any comments or whatever, leave them in the comments section below. And hope that helps. Thanks for watching.